Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode, A Sky Full of Planets for Christmas. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers, and have we ever got a Christmas present for you? Because all through this holiday season, every planet visible to the naked eye will be visible every clear night right up to the new year. So if you get a new telescope for Christmas, you'll be able to see all the naked eye planets through it close up. What a fabulous gift from the cosmos. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for just after sunset facing south, where the brightest thing you will see in the sky will be the king of the planets, Jupiter. Then if you look over to Jupiter's left, that is southeast, you will see a much dimmer but still fairly bright light, which is the ringed planet Saturn. Then if you look to Jupiter's right and very, very close to the southwest horizon, you will see the most brilliant planet of them all, the planet Venus, which this year we can call our Christmas star, even though it will disappear within an hour after sunset. And if you're watching this show early this Christmas week, you may want to watch the moon as it travels across the sky all week. Now, Monday night, December 21st, which is the first day of winter, the winter solstice, an exquisite crescent moon will be up into the left of Venus, and you can watch it as it travels nightly toward Jupiter. Tuesday the 22nd, Wednesday the 23rd, and on Christmas Eve, Thursday, December 24th, an exquisite waxing moon will be just to the right of the king of the planets, Jupiter. And on Christmas night, Friday the 25th, an almost first quarter moon will be just to Jupiter's left. Saturday the 26th, the moon will be at first quarter and will be smack dab between Jupiter and the ringed planet Saturn. And Sunday night the 27th, you will see an absolutely breathtaking picture of the moon and Saturn snuggled up together. Now, to see the two other naked eye planets, might I suggest that you go out any morning Christmas week, about an hour before sunrise, and look southeast, because just above the horizon, there you will see the first planet out from the sun, pinkish Mercury, just to the left of the bright red star, Antares, which marks the heart of the scorpion. And above pinkish Mercury and red Antares, an even brighter, rouge gold planet Mars. Think of it. If you go out any night Christmas week just after sunset, you will see Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn. And if you go out one hour before sunrise, you'll see Mercury and Mars, plus the red star Antares thrown in for good measure. And remember that on Christmas Eve, the moon will be just to the right of Jupiter and on Christmas night, it will be just to Jupiter's left. And on Sunday night, the 27th, it will be snuggled up right next to Saturn. What a fabulous season for planet gazing, especially if you get a small telescope for Christmas, which will make it even more fun to keep looking up. Be the first in your galaxy to own it. The brand new Stargazer home video, Make the Stars Your Own. Only $19.95 plus postage and handling. Order it now at 1-800-533-8321 and really make the stars your own. Stargazer is brought to you in part by Odyssey, Adventures in Science.